40% of all the energy we consume is used in buildings, such as our homes. In the 21st century, as the need for energy efficiency increases, regulations and recommendations are constantly changing. So even recently built homes may now need an upgrade. Houses that leak heat also leak money. Bear in mind that with no insulation, about 25% of your heat could be disappearing through the roof and through the walls. This terraced house in Wiltshire began life in 1976 as a council house. Host. Owners Jules and Richard are both actors. Bill, statement. Oh, and money is always tight. Bill. bill for you, bill for me. So how do you heat your house at the moment? Storage Storage heaters. Heaters. All electricity. All electricity, mm -hmm. yeah, which is actually really quite expensive, it isn't is. it? It is, it is. The bills are, you know, enormous, silly. really. Yeah. Silly. I try and but, do my uh, bit with my energy-saving light bulbs, but, you know, <laughs> <That's> <laughs> it. it's not cutting the bills that much. No. <laughs> if we could afford central heating, we probably would. This house needs a thorough energy efficiency check, and the first place to look is in the loft. Now you see, when these houses were built, they did have energy conservation in mind because they have already put some insulation in here. But obviously as the years have gone on, those requirements have increased. Right. Now, what you've got here is about 100 mil. Now the building industry uses a measurement of heat resistance called the R value. Mm -hmm. This will give you an R value of about two. But the government recommends an R value of 6.1, huh. which requires about 270 millimetres right. of insulation quilt. That's quite a lot. It is quite a lot. And I have just the thing for you. Excellent. This is Knauf Insulation's space blanket. Now you can get this from most DIY outlets, so it's easy to get hold of. Mm. Mm -hmm. It looks like it's covered in silver foil. Yeah, it is, uh, it's encapsulated for, for comfort. So do we need to wear any kind of protective clothing when we're laying it? Not for this, but because you've already got some old insulation up there, mm -hmm. you will do for that. And since lofts are dusty enclosed spaces, don't forget the dust mask. So this stuff is 200 millimetres thick, which combined with your 100 millimetres gives you 300 millimetres, which is basically what goes into most new builds these days, a bit more than you're meant to have, but more is better. Your 100 mil comes up to the top of the joist here, so this is laid across it at 90 degrees and silver side up. Make sure the insulation is fluffed up to the required thickness. Don't forget when you're working in a loft, only stand on the joists and not between them. Once you've insulated your loft, the air above becomes much colder. So if you have a water tank up here, just insulate to the edge of it. If you insulate underneath it, you'll leave it prone to freezing during the winter months. The fact that it's there and it's lagged is enough to insulate the area that it's standing on. There you go. Hey. 300 millimetres now, so that should save you some pennies. Yeah, Just yeah. a bit more than the government recommend. That is brilliant. And keeps us toasty warm downstairs. Definitely. So, that's the loft sorted, but there are other things we need to check. Is this the airing cupboard? This is the airing cupboard. Let's have a look. Your hot water tank has nothing on it. No. Now, a simple solution for that because you're losing a lot of heat. Can you, you feel I it? I can feel it, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's just an insulating jacket which we can sort out very quickly. Just a jacket? Mm-hmm. OK. Any DIY store will have one of these. They're made from the same material that's used to insulate the loft and they're inexpensive and simple to fit. Right, let's take a look at your walls. Now this house is built using the cavity wall system. Mm -hmm. If you take a look here, there's 100 millimetres of brick on the outside mm -hmm. yeah. and 100 millimetres of block on the inside. Right. Right. And between those two skins there's a 50 millimetre gap. Now that was to stop water leaching from the outside skin to the inside and also served as a little bit of insulation, but not enough for today's standards. 
Now, there is a way to remedy that. And we can do that? Well, you'll need a specialist to do it, but it's relatively cheap. And you will get a guarantee. Brilliant. Superfill is a canal insulation product specially designed to fill cavity walls. It looks and feels just like cotton wool, but it's actually made using recycled glass bottles with a special additive to make it water repellent. It's simply blown in through a series of small holes drilled in the wall. And it's worth remembering that the cost of this job can sometimes be subsidised by your utility company. Once the job is finished, the hole is filled and made good. On a house this size, it's all done in a couple of hours. There you go. That wasn't too difficult, was it? No, it wasn't. Not at all. You should be able to save some more energy now. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. And hopefully that should show on your fuel bills. Oh, that would be brilliant. So, yeah, if it, so if it does, it will be brilliant. Yeah. I'm sure it will. But, yeah. I mean, it was so easy. Yeah.